Welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today we're gonna put on a display of American muscle. This is a 2009 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. Under the hood, this is a completely stock car. You're gonna find the LS7 uh, V8 engine. This is a four, uh, seven liter, 427 cubic inch plant. Now this car is totally stock, even the airbox, exhaust, everything. It's like a factory new car. Uh, it's got just over 2,000 miles on it, but making 505 horsepower. The badge on the side here will tell you. Uh, it's routed to the only transmission you can get with, with this car, which is a uh, six speed manual, and routed to the rear wheels, as that's the only way they've ever built the Corvette. But uh, remarkably comfortable. Uh, an absolute showpiece of a car. Uh, it's, it's a brand new car. Uh, I, I don't know why anybody would buy a new one knowing that we have this available for sale right now. And when it's gone and somebody calls, I'll see if I can find another one. But uh, let's walk around and show you why it's so brand new because the interior, uh, exterior, basically like I said, factory new car. This one will be a quick walk around. I don't have anything in the way of damage to show you on the car. Uh, it doesn't even look as if it's even been on the road. They might have been 2,000 uh, private miles. Uh, on private property because there really isn't anything to show if this car's even driven behind another car. But uh, the Z06 model, you do get a lower uh, chin spoiler here. Uh, that does help with the low overhang. It's actually made to make contact uh, and save the rest of the painted pieces. But uh, the center intake here, also part of the Z06 uh, exterior. Got a set of Xenons right in that beautiful headlamp covering. Uh, this does have the optional factory chrome wheel. Uh, you can see huge caliper in there with the red Corvette piston, but these are 275-35 ZR18s up front, Eagle F1 supercar tire, uh, run flats, and they feel brand new. So, I don't think this car has ever seen a rough mile. Uh, it was a corporate lease, which is pretty amazing. That means that some CEO probably got this as a perk of his job. But take a look down the side. It's awesome. In the rear, you have a different uh, tire size here. This is a 19-inch wheel in the rear, uh, and this is a 325-30 ZR19. Uh, one of the widest streetcar tires you can get on any car, uh, especially out of the factory. But again, brand new. I don't even think he uh, full throttled it off of a stop. But again, look at the rear. Got a separate little lip spoiler here. It's part of the Z06 as well as those quad exhaust tips. And then around on the passenger side, I don't have anything else to note. It's absolutely perfect all the way down. In the rear of the Corvette here, you're going to find a huge uh, cargo area. I think I want to say it's like 27 or 28 cubic feet in here. Uh, I do have a brand new set, I mean virtually brand new because there's no wear, uh, set of the factory floor mats in here. And then in the back you're going to find over here is your battery, uh, which is put in the back for weight distribution. And then, David, right under your camera there, some extra storage, full books, front license plate mounting bracket, uh, the DVD for the nav drive system, and then all the other various stuff including the uh, cargo cover, I'm sorry, no, cargo cover and uh, cargo net for back here. Uh, more books and then also a set of the factory wheel locks. Hmm, unopened. Again, the interior is perfect. The bolsters don't even have any wear. That was just a little dirty, I think, for just me getting in just now. Uh, clean myself up before I get in the next time. Uh, you can see the Z06 uh, embroidery right on the headrest there and then on the kick panel you also have the Z06 labeling. But Corvettes are remarkably comfortable. Uh, they've made some huge strides over the years and the C6, which this model is, meaning sixth generation, it's a remarkably easy car to drive. Uh, when you're behind the wheel of this car, you, you really forget that you're driving a 500 horsepower car because it's that civilized. But uh, take a look at the door here. You can see you got memory for the driver's seat, which is power, and also the Bose label there for the Bose sound system. Again, spectacular stereo. Take a look at the layout in here. Uh, this is definitely one of the highest quality interiors I've ever seen from GM. And anybody that rips on it, I hope you can say it to my face because I will literally debate you uh, till I'm blue in the face. Uh, the fit and finish is fantastic. You got like a simulated carbon fiber surround here, uh, but very well optioned. Uh, this car does have a power telescoping wheel here uh, with a manual tilt, which I actually like because it's kind of a quick release for getting it out of the car. Uh, I've had people say, why isn't that power too? Because that's all it takes to move it. That's why I'd like it. Uh, you do have the heads-up display directly in front of my uh, field of view here. A couple different modes uh, and views that you can use that gives you your engine speed, the vehicle speed, and also a customizable 
readout for a, a you know like a, a G meter to show where your G forces are going. Uh, you do have Bluetooth connectivity because you can see on your steering wheel here multifunction, some audio controls here. Uh, behind the navigation system here, which is a touchscreen system, you can see we can get a couple options there. Uh, if I drop this back here, you can see you've got an individual CD player, and then this is the DVD drive for the navigation. Uh, it is a phenomenal Bose sound stereo system. Below that, dual zone climate control, literally set it and forget it. And then heated seats for both front occupants. You can see across the front here, uh, the seats are fantastic. you got a little bit of added bolstering. Uh, it is a manual seat on the passenger side for all the Z06 models. Uh, but look, you've got the six-speed manual uh, transmission here. This is really a, a, a neat shifter. It's uh, six-speed, very short throw. And when you consider the torque that this engine puts out, you usually don't get a shifter uh, that communicates this well, considering the power that goes down. Uh, really simple to use, very easy clutch effort. And then behind that, this button here is for your stability and traction control, but it'll also put the car in uh, the competitive driving mode, which I have it illuminated here right now on the dashboard. First impression behind the wheel of this car is that it's not a it's not a 505 horsepower supercar. It is more of a docile, you know, everyday usable, friendly car. Uh, even the clutch effort is really nice and easy. The shifter's great. The steering's light. Obviously, power assisted, but uh, the leather is very high quality on the steering wheel. It feels really nice, and the shifter just everything feels very solid. Listen how quiet and solid this body is, though. If you've ever had a Corvette before, even the C5s can't even come close to these things in solidity, but uh, knowing this car is about as close to brand new as possible, we'll go up over the speed bump here. Just listen to it. I'm barely feathering the clutch just to get the car over. That's it. No drama. It's easy. Uh, like I said, you forget. But I've got a heated seat on, just because I'm a wuss and I like to stay warm. But I'm really comfortable. The navigation system obviously is showing us exactly where we are and I think this is actually Dave correct me if I'm wrong but this is the first navigation system I've seen where they actually have the path of the forest preserve on the actual navigation that is really impressive yes the dual zone climate control and a phenomenal both sound system uh, it's a really nice base but Cruising through some of the back roads, um, getting a good perspective of a completely stock and nearly brand new Z06. Uh, it's actually pretty quiet in here. Uh, you can probably tell from the ride we're taking right now. But uh, six speed manual, I'm in third, I'll go to fourth. Nice light clutch. Uh, the steering is aero straight, brakes feel great. But this is really a nice car. I mean, it's a really nice, comfortable cruising car. Like I said, the interior that they put in this car is of one of the nicest. I mean, all the tactile feel, everything on here is just really of super high quality. And we're just lumbering along with a 500 horsepower V8 right in front of us that uh, if we so choose, we could launch at any uh, specific second. It's pretty cool. Uh, but I do love the color. I love the overall layout in here. And I'm really shocked because even coming out of a C6 into the Z06, I expected it to be much more of a hulking brute car. Uh, and it's not. It's very simple to drive. It's very comfortable and livable. I could really drive this every day. Obviously, this isn't one of those cars you could really drive in, uh, you know, a winter climate. But in a warmer climate, I mean, you really could drive it every day. It's comfy. I'm gonna give you a roll on here in first gear, but I just want to give you an illustration uh, just of what the acceleration is like in the Z06. It's pretty insane. One thing the Z06 is known for is its uh, track performance prowess and some of my favorite curves on a private roadway. Uh, we'll enter here, but you can really just toss this thing. 
button it back down, cut it out. Oh, I can totally the punch this right here. Okay, it will. That's a cool car, man. This has easily got to be the best bargain for supercars in the marketplace. Uh, I mean, even the ZR1, which is another 30 grand on top of this, is, I mean, it's, it's a supercar again, but uh, one, super unattainable, a lot more expensive. I've got some great info here. I got a copy of the uh, Carfax and Auto Check Vehicle History Report. Obviously, a one owner car, perfect, no accident history, uh, flawless on paper. Uh, but I also have, I mean, the car is so new, I have the window sticker from Chevrolet 2009 Corvette Z06. Uh, the options are the chrome wheels, that's 1995, the uh, navigation with DVD, uh, 1750, uh, it's got 342 rear, and the total MSRP on this car went brand new with 80,015, so just over 80k, so you're saving almost 20 grand off a of brand new for a car that is virtually brand new. But check this car out on our website, you'll go to chicagocarsdirect.com where you'll find better than 60 pictures of this car, and then when you're done there, go to our, our YouTube channel. You'll find us at youtube.com slash Chicago Cars Direct. Thanks for letting me have some fun today. Hope you enjoyed it like I did, and we'll see you next time.